Hey, welcome back, marine science fans. This is Kevin from the Seymour Marine Discovery Center at UC Santa Cruz. Today, we'll be investigating this beautiful sea star that scientists refer to as Pisaster giganteus. One of the common names for this sea star is the giant spine star. You can probably see why. Here at the Seymour Center, we often refer to this species as a jewel star because those giant spines surrounded by this beautiful blue tissue give it the appearance of being studded with jewels. But there's a whole lot more to this stellar kelp forest predator. We just need to zoom in for a closer look at what's going on around those spectacular spines. One thing that scientists investigate is how living things respond to changes in their environment to help them survive. Watch what happens when I gently touch the living tissue between this jewel star's spines. What did you notice happen first, next, then after that? Now watch as I repeat the experiment to check your observations and see if you notice anything new this time. Describe your observations of how the jewel star's appearance changes and anything else you notice this time. What evidence do you see that jewel stars do in fact respond to being touched by humans? Let's learn the scientific names of a couple structures we observed to help describe what we saw happen. These reddish brown finger-like structures are called papulas or skin gills. One of their functions is to take in oxygen from the surrounding water and get rid of carbon dioxide. The smaller tan-colored structures surrounding the blue tissue of each giant spine are called pedicellarias. In this before shot, you'll notice most of these tiny pincers are closed. Did you notice how before being touched, the papulas were extended out into the water, but after being touched, the jewel star pulled the papulas inside, exposing more blue tissue. If we look at the pedicellaries before, notice how they're mostly closed and look like tiny pegs. Now take a look at the pedicellaries after being touched. They're raised up, wide open, and ready to attack. Now we're ready to call the response play by play. Here comes the touch. Down go the papulas. Next, the pedestal areas get pushed up nice and high. And then the jewel star can be seen pushing the papulas back out. Finally, the pedestal areas lower and spread out, pincers wide open to cover the entire body of the jewel star. I don't know about you, but this investigation gave me a whole new appreciation of just how much a sea star is actually doing and how it's responding to changes in its environment. I hope you enjoyed this Seymour Center creature feature, and don't forget, keep on investigating. Hey, this is Kevin again. Are you thirsty for more creature features? The Seymour Center could really use your support right now more than ever, so please consider going to our website to make a donation or better yet, become a member. See you next time.